Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Yes, that is right, we're at the Lee Sports Village in Manchester, the home of Manchester United's academy team and also the home of Manchester United women's team. Think about it, just think about it. Dishon Bernard, Ethan Laird, Damani Mello, Sam Murray, yeah, Malachi Sharp have all played at this venue right here. This is the birthplace of the hotbed of talent coming through right now at Manchester United Football Club. Yes, that is right. Yes, we're in Manchester. And I figured it's about time that we talk about what Manchester has done for the world. Well, if you go back to the 16th, 15th century, this was the place for the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, that is right. Textile and everything, Manchester United, Manchester in particular, was the birth of that. Textile, clothing. Manchester was the start of that and the entire world continued. Manchester, the city, the county of Manchester has done so much for the world and guess what? They're ready to do more. Why do I say that? Well, you have a society called the Jamaica Manchester Society and they've been around since 1962. Yeah, that is right. So for 60 years you've had the Jamaica Manchester Society and they have been a place in building Jamaican culture in this area, building the intensity and the knowledge about Jamaica towards the rest of the world. And there's a large Jamaican diaspora within the United Kingdom in Manchester. After London, after the West Midlands, it's Manchester, then Yorkshire, and of course after Yorkshire, Bristol, Nottingham, and other parts of the UK where you have a dominant Jamaican population. But outside of Manchester, only the West Midlands and London have a larger Jamaican contingency in the UK outside of Manchester. So, why are we talking about this right now? When you think about Manchester, what do you think about? Hmm. Well, Paul Hall was the first Manchester-born player to represent the Reggae Boys, followed by Greg Lee, and then Ravel Morrison. Yeah, three Manchester-born players that have gone on to represent the Reggae Boys. One of them went to a World Cup, and also he was a, was, played for the country as well, in terms of being a head coach. Greg Lee, Manchester City Academy graduate, born and raised in Manchester. Ravel Morrison, born and raised in Manchester, Withenshaw, Sale, Longsight. These areas have the Jamaican pop populations and contingencies, and guess what? We have some excellent news coming your way. I spoke about the Jamaica Society of Leeds. Well, what about the Jamaica Manchester Society? Jamaica Manchester Society, well, guess what? They are ready. Are you ready? Because they are ready. Are you ready? Because they are ready. They are ready. They are ready, 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 ready. They want to make an impact. They want to have that role and that process. They want to do that. Can you imagine that? The Jamaica Manchester Society. They want to help. They want to help. And that's what they're there for, to create that partnership with the Jamaica High Commission down in London, with the Jamaica Football Federation. The Jamaica Manchester Society is ready. They're ready. Ready, 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 now. Right now. Right now, they're ready. The question is, are you ready? Because they're ready to help, just like Leeds is. I want you guys to understand the importance of this entire city county of Manchester. This is one of the most powerful places in the entire world. World. Manchester United, Manchester City, Salford Red Devils, Lee Centurions, Manchester United Women's Team, Manchester City Women's Team, Marcus Rashford. This city, this county is powerful. And now with the Jamaica Manchester Society, they want to help. They want to have that impact. They want to have that legacy. Just think about it. This place right here has done so much. This place right here, this stadium that we're at, right now, Dishon Bernard, Sam Murray, Malachi Sharp, Damani Mello, Ethan Laird. And guess what? We can go on and on and on. Roshan Williams played here. Tyrrell Warren played here. I'm in my heritage. This is where football is played. And guess what? 
Manchester is ready. So, the Jamaica Manchester Society are ready to help the Jamaica Football Federation. And all it needs is a phone call. That's all it needs. <clears throat> and guess what? It's not something that's going to take a long time. Because you go into Google, Jamaica Manchester Society, and boom, there you go. It's not hard, it's not difficult. We have help, there's avenues, and that is exactly why I think something of this magnitude is very important. So what are your thoughts? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.